Hi, my name is Dan Schlichting. I'm an engineer at National Rivet, and I'm going to be demonstrating machine alignment on a Model 800 National Riveter. In this video, we're going to be looking at machine alignment. That is, alignment of the driver above the anvil. The driver needs to be perfectly in line with the anvil, directly above. If it's not, spitting of the rivets may occur, or improper curl, which is an offset in the curl. For this demonstration, we're going to have power removed. You may want to have your machine locked and tagged out, but I'm not going to be wearing safety glass or other equipment since we've got this machine in a safe environment. Step one of machine alignment is for us to check the present setup of the machine. To do that, we're going to bring the driver down to meet the anvil pin as it's the best place to see if the machine is properly aligned. In the no power position, we'll need to open the flywheel guard, reset the clutch, and roll the machine over to bring the driver down. We've got the driver in the fully down position. In this position, we need to make sure that the driver is concentric directly above the anvil. And we'll need to check it in two planes. If it appears the machine is not properly aligned, it may be a problem with the tooling. We have to make sure that the driver and the anvil are straight. If we're not confident, we should pull them out and put in new tooling. To change the machine alignment, we're going to loosen the six large bolts that hold the head to the column. We also need to loosen the adjustment screw that holds the motor belt tightening. After we've loosened those, we can align the head. We're going to do that by tapping the head with a lead hammer. Once we've moved the head to the proper position, National Rivet uses an alignment tool. With the alignment tool installed, we want to make sure that the driver is directly above the anvil center line. With this tool, we can check to make sure in both planes that we're completely on center. When we have achieved perfect alignment or near perfect alignment, we'll want to re-tighten the six main bolts that hold the head. And we'll do that by carefully snugging them first so we do not disturb our alignment, and then torquing them to the proper spec. An ANSI spec can be followed. After we've properly torqued these bolts, we need to retighten the socket set screw and check the belt tension. Anytime you run the machine manually, you'll need to reset the clutch. To reset the clutch, you need to push down on the connecting rod at the crankshaft. Once we've completed all tightening, we'll need to reinstall our anvil, replacing the alignment tool that we used previously, and then we can recheck alignment one more time. As the rivet contacts the anvil pin, we can check that the rivet is centered underneath the driver and on the pin. As we continue to roll the machine over, we'll start to curl the rivet and push the rivet through the jaws. In this position, in the curled position, we can see that our driver is centered over the anvil. For any questions or more detail, refer to your manual.